My name is Gray and I'm a girl and that's the show. Yes! Okay. What was I doing? Yeah, actually, I'm gonna go to the drink here first. Okay. Okay. Plan made. I'll have you know, I am recording with my new Deadly Premonition themed coffee mug. It has uh, FK in, in the coffee on it, and under it, it says, It never fails. It was a delightful birthday gift from one of the viewers, I think. Are you watching this? I think you're watching this. I believe that's why you got me the mug. Uh, hi! Thank you! It was very kind. It's also so, then perfect to drink from we while next? recording this game. Going into town. In uh, my friends are in town. Uh, what's that song? It um, I've got hurt feelings. It is Fly to the Concord. So that's what I'm thinking of. I've missed it. That's fine. Whatever the next left is. Is there gonna be a next left? Yeah, here's a left. I'm gonna take it. I feel like this is not gonna be helpful. <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. We're we're all in this together, guys. <laughs> we'll we'll get through it. Power of teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> I'm lost. Oh wait, maybe I'm not. Yeah, this is town. Yeah, yeah. I kind of know where I am. Yeah, and then up ahead. <sighs> Panda Bear's not open yet. But that's fine. I'm gonna go to the junkyard. these arrows are for? Probably something important. Oh well. What is that outside of my car? Is that a person? Zach, we're supposed to play along with Harry's little game, remember? I know. I'm with you on that. Oh. I don't like being played with either, but we've got three victims now, and we need to prevent that number from becoming four. I mean, there aren't that many <clears throat> ladies left. You Game mentioned quest. that there is still some room to customize my car. Yeah. Ah, yes I did. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I think your gas tank could do with a boost, don't you? Yes. A larger tank would mean you can go farther with one fill-up. That would be with great. On In one which fill up. case, you need to find a scrap tank. I think there's one... Around N5. Okay. Great. This will be the last enhancement you can make to your vehicle. So get out there and find it. Roger that. When do I get my car then? Oh, probably after... After this. Okay. Let's use this guitar. Ugh. Dang. Okay. Uh, oh, and it's right here. <laughs> I love that he has a guitar. Uh, I, to, the thing that you just had me go do. This is it. This will save your life someday, son. I love that he's just holding it like General, that. General. Imbecile. Shut up and listen to your superiors, right? <laughs> That's right. This will be my last story for you two. Good. Toward the end of the war, I found myself alone in enemy territory. It was thick jungle, and I couldn't call for support. I was up the creek without a paddle a boat or even a life jacket. Eventually, weakened by hunger and thirst, I was reduced to crawling. 
death was closing in. I could feel it you more never than even anything. In the military? I longed for water. I just I, I fell to the ground. You're sus. Water filled my mind, my thoughts. That's all I wanted. I should have died there. Maybe that should have been a cynical. I wasn't moving. My last wish for a drink unfulfilled. I should have died, but as you can see, I no, didn't. Semicolon. When I awoke, my throat was moist. I saw another man collapsed at my side. There were spots of water by his feet. From the look of things, he brought water to me cupped in his hands. How sweet. Making trip after trip to the river. Who was it? Sergeant Timothy. That crybaby Timothy. He was dead. Shot by the enemy. Later, I won battle after battle. I guess luck was on my side as well. Before I knew it, I was promoted to general. But in my heart, there was a hole. A gaping hole. I believe I died that day on the battlefield. I died with crybaby Timothy. Anyway, that's my last war story for you. Time for your final customization. And yet, you trash talk that dude. You just... So that explains why he's wearing a sergeant's badge on him. Time kept flowing for him, and he kept moving up in rank. But inside of him, time stopped a long time ago. We didn't get any info out of him about the raincoat killer. At least his war stories solved one of the mysteries of this town. Let's leave him alone. I doubt he knows anything about the case at hand. But can I buy my car? That'll increase the amount of gas your car can carry. Cool. You remind me of my men. Um, they had a strong sense of justice. Tall, uh, dark hair and handsome. Eyes forward. <laughs> and laugh. Ha. You confuse me so much. I mean, not really. You're just resentful that a person you couldn't stand saved your life. Uh... Okay, Diane, Carol, Thomas, Asha, Kirsten, Keith, Lily, Nick, Clint, Richard. Man, I want my car. Give me my car. General, there's something I want to ask you. What is it? Before you ask, though, I can't customize your car anymore. That's no, fine. it's not about that. I want my car. I heard you've got my other car here. The one I drove to Greenvale. Your car? So that high-spec beauty was yours. Yes. I was wondering, you know, if you could fix it up for me. I won't mind if it costs me a bunch to get it repaired. Quite important to you, is it, this car? Uh, that car looks <laughs> super freaking cool. Well, then, so, if you're yes. willing to pay, I'll do the work for you. Yes! What do I... Do I have to do anything? Oh, I think this is like, I'll come back the next day or something. I want my car! That, I thought, was the car that I drove here, uh, just slowly driving away. Dogs are so scary. Sigourney! Um. Do you... Do you want me to... Okay. <laughs> Bye. I'm just gonna leave you here then. That's the weird thing that was... Glitching. Okay. Okay. I get ya. I get ya. Uh, where was I gonna go now? I'm just gonna drive aimlessly. Now let's see what's going on at the police station. If I can have lunch again with Emily. Oh no! I was getting the kids! The children! Think of the children! Uh, is that the same direction? <laughs> I'm gonna check, because that's going to be really far in a bad way if it's not. Yeah, that's where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Are they still there? 
doubt they're still there. Yeah, they are still there. Great. Hopefully I won't be too late. Chances are I'll be too late. <laughs> ah, you live and you learn, right? So tempted to just kind of like beep, but I'm not going to do that. Because that would be mean. That would make me a bad person. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. As far as any of you know. Right? Eh, maybe a little. I'm like so close to doing the thing I'm supposed to be doing and yet I'm just like by progress I know I said I would I, I did a bunch of sides what side quest stuff that I was gonna like upload separately but I feel like I'm just gonna go ahead and do it especially since uh my PS2 setup is still not working working on it but capture is not working out yet <laughs> I really am curious what it was like to like for the voice actor for York just so much talking to himself I would like to get into voice acting more it would be very cool I, it's, I, it is truly one of the hardest hardest groups to get into uh, so I know that the chances of it happening are pretty slim to none um, but it just, it, it seems very interesting. It's also, it's incredibly difficult. A lot of people think that because you're not on camera, it's not that hard. But the problem with voice acting, because like camera or stage or whatever, you can rely on your expressions a bit. But voice acting, every single thing that you're emoting has to come through your voice. You can't rely on anything else. You can't assume that an animator is gonna perfectly capture whatever. Like it has to be, uh, you have to be able to hear everything you're expressing, which can make it a bit tricky. Hey, 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 hey. Um, so mad respect to voice actors and people who get into that line of work. It is very impressive. Are you in here? I'm guessing. Ah! Hi! <laughs> uh. Great, I don't care to talk to you. <laughs> okay, but I want to. <laughs> ah! the wrong it's the wrong time isn't it we oh. saw someone we really did isaac isaiah what exactly did you see someone in the forest did you see the murder standing under anna's tree and not a goddess a little different a ghost yeah maybe it was a ghost ghost what makes you think that we found this on the ground there would a ghost drop this um Probably not. Oh. Let me see. It's blurry and out of focus. I can make out two people, but not their faces. So that's why they think it was a ghost. But then oh. who was under but Anna's why? tree? Why would, if you found a weird photo, a weird blurry photo, you're just like, it's a ghost. A ghost did it. See, I think they're just trying to throw suspicion off themselves. I should have explored that place more. That was actually a really cool cabin. <laughs> uh, I like cabins. Cabins are fun. Yo! Okay, I'm gonna throw up a photo. So this 
is a <laughs> I don't think I've talked about it but um so I worked on oh oh I I'm gonna get out sorry I'm gonna go save my game because I'm paranoid um I worked uh I was part of a documentary film crew and we went to uh, Malawi in Africa and one day we went to a safari which was very very cool it was just like the the one treat moment <laughs> during that trip uh well and and we also spent 24 hours in South Africa and like had fun um whoop. but <laughs> I felt so rich <laughs> on a safari uh i mean getting there was horrendous it's like this horrible unpaved nightmare situation but i mean also it's malawi it's like the poorest country in the world um uh, people are super super nice though they're they are called the warm heart of africa for a reason uh so it was, it was a very cool experience but so i grew up like lower middle class to higher poverty line <laughs> like not with money i've i've never been one to have money and now like being a financially independent person i i i who rent sometimes tricky so i never expected to be staying in this freaking ritzy bougie chalet on a, and a safari like it was the most expensive feeling place I think I ever was in like to the point that I was almost uncomfortable um oh wait where am I supposed to go do, 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 do. Uh, because it was just so so different from anything that I was used to Oh, tree of honor. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? Uh, checking. Wait, am I? Oh, there's the tree of honor. Okay, yeah, I'm going the wrong way, but that's fine. I also have like hours to kill. How do I? Twenty percent already. Didn't you just increase my gas tank? Whatever. Uh, but yeah, it was very interesting feeling like I had money. <laughs> it was very strange. Also uh, low-key terrifying. So uh, at night, there were absolutely, absolutely no lights. Um, and I woke up in the middle of the night and I needed to use the bathroom. But where the cabin was located just outside and like you know it's it's dead quiet there's nothing really going on so you can hear so clearly that right outside my chalet were hippos because the chalets were right by the water so i heard them but i it was absolutely pitch black i could not see a single thing like not even my hand in front of my face absolute pure darkness and it was so quiet that the hippos sounded like they were right next to me. Because it's also, you know, it's not like a massive chalet. And it was kind of terrifying. But I needed to go use the restroom. So I took my phone out. And I turned the screen on, but like facing my stomach and held it really, really close to me. Because I, I, I don't know, you know, like if I have light, is it, is a hippo going to react? Is it going to try to like get in like if if it wanted to i'm sure it could like bust open a window um and just kind of like silently crept into the bathroom <laughs> and it oh god it was very unnerving <laughs> but now i could say i went on a safari and we saw a billion elephants and we saw some big cats in the distance. Uh, whoop, whoop. 
not close enough that we could really get a good photo of them uh and various some various other animals um that was very it was neat it was neat because that was one of the things that i had on a bucket list was to go on a safari and i actually got to it was also a very nice break because uh that documentary the subject matter was su super dark so it was like a nice little time to ooh, ooh. uh a nice little break uh, from uh, <laughs> all the darkness in the world actually that film should be coming out soon if it hasn't already <laughs> depending on when this goes up and I can link to it down below. Oh, at 4.30, that's right. Do I just hang out here? I can nap. Here, let me see, let me see. 4.30. Okay. Let's do a little four-hour sleepy sleep. Is that an option of a four-hour sleepy sleep? Yeah. 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 A little, a little snooze. Hey, and there you are. What's up, girl? Carol. I like your jacket. Are you going to answer me? Wait. Um. Around here. Did you see? See what? Oh, nothing. Just forget it. Um. Zach, I wonder what she was looking for here. Could it be the photo that I'm holding? Her heels too. Uh, yeah. Is this your picture? <sighs> yeah, it is. So what? I thought I lost it somewhere. Isaac and Isaiah picked it up. They found it here. Yeah, really. Then I'll have to thank them for finding it. Why are you so? So this rude? is you and Anna. What makes you think that? You've come all the way out here almost every day when it's not raining. You wouldn't do that just to look for a photo of someone else. Impressive. Is that what you want me to say? And you're right. That's me and Anna in the picture. Silly, isn't it? Um, it's so blurry, you can't really tell who's in it. So who took the picture? Um, are you gonna answer or just weirdly wave your hand? <laughs> Anna did. She wanted a picture of us both together. I didn't really want one, so she pointed the camera at us by herself while I was moving around. And that's what happens when you try to take a picture like that. She was always so silly and happy. She took so many pictures. She always printed a load of them and gave them to everyone. Everyone just threw them away. So Aww. what about this one? I'd make a fun collage. <sighs> you don't make copies of the blurry pictures, do you? We weren't even that close. But I couldn't throw this one away. I see. One last thing, then. Where was this picture taken? Where? Nowhere special. Anna's room. Um. <laughs> That's a weird transition. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Carol. Try not so to I lose your like stuff So I like that anymore. she put her lit cigarette in her pocket. I'll give you this thank pocket. you gift for getting my picture back. I don't want you thinking I owe you anything. Zach, did you hear that? See, this is now when you'd have the animation of handing no a thing over. Special. She's trying to hide the fact that it was indeed a very special place. It's a long cigarette. Okay, bye. I'm suspicious of you, and now I'm also worried that you're gonna die next. Uh, oh, this is not.
not the right way. I want to go this way. Is that this way? Yeah. 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 This way. No. Oh, it was the other way. That's fine. I'm very stupid. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I might use a flare. Ah, ooh, I like her car. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I'm not... Uh, I don't love the green flames. I don't hate them. But with these black stripes, I think I would prefer without the flames. Personally. I don't hate it. It's just not my favorite. Okay. Now I want to go... Somewhere. I guess I can continue the actual plot. Ooh, yeah. No, because it's too late for lunch. I'm gonna run out of gas real soon. Ba -ba. I, oh, hush with your beeping. You're like frickin'. So, where shall we go next? Oop. It's like Zelda with the hearts. Like, I know. I can see it. I'm gonna see how far I can get before doing anything about it. I wonder if going through that little thing would have been a shortcut. be so close to the next objective. I think. I believe in you. Believe in you. Even though I shouldn't. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. Uh. Maybe it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be so fine. Ugh, frickin' fine. Really wish I could Skyrim over all of it. Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take a little walk. Just take a little walkie walk. Oh, okay. So the other night I had this super, super weird dream. Uh it started with me, I was like in my room on my phone DMing via Instagram Robert Pattinson, <laughs> weirdly, um, just sending dumb memes back and forth. And then all of a sudden there was like a knock on my door. So I went out to my door and <laughs> opened the door and it was one of those like weird religious people. And the lady looked at me and she was like, Oh, I'm t like, I'm so happy you because we, we finally converted you. And in my mind, I was like, uh, what? No, <laughs> what? It's very strange. And then she just had all this stuff that she was giving me because she was so happy that she thought that she like was successful. And, and like, I don't, I don't know what all of it was. I know I saw, I think like three old computer monitors and then just like a bunch of boxes. So I, I don't know what all she was giving me, but it was a ton of stuff. Uh, and a cat! <laughs> she gave me this cat. Um, here's a cat that, like, I did not recognize. Um, but it was this cute little short-haired cat. And I started cuddling it. And then I went, uh, to go talk to my roommate. Uh, because my roommate does not love the idea of owning a cat. Even though I really super want one. And so I was talking to her and she, like, wasn't super thrilled. And I was like, 
like, you know, whether we keep it or, you know, like, find a different forever home for it, like, first things first, we need a litter box, and then, then just snuggling this cat the entire time. And it was great. Um, so apparently, if you message just dumb memes said, it's to Robert Pattinson, <laughs> you get a free cat. <laughs> Really, I just want to snuggle a cat. Like, that'd be great. Hey, Brian. Hey, Brian. <laughs> Agent. Mr. Agent, how are you? Oh, uh, not bad. I'm, uh, just playing a little game with Harry. Game? A game? Oh, huh. Is that... Oh, I feel started, like right? you're the kid the who never got to invited to things. I'd that like makes to ask me really you sad. Actually. Brian, I would invite you to things. Is there a tree things. in the graveyard that drops red seeds? Seeds? Red seeds? That? That tree does. And that one. <laughs> and that one, too. All red seeds. Oh, Brian, I love you. You're such a delight. Oh, and now we're in heck. I'm gonna take another tomato. Shout out and thank you to all my Patreon supporters. Thank you! If you'd like to support the show, check out my Patreon page and my Redbubble store. Links are included in the description down below. That's right, I got swag. Swag is in merch, not swag as in swagger. I'm still a nerd. Thanks for tuning in. Bye!